I think firstly a compliment of the season to all our fans, supporters, family and friends. And it was good again for us to get together as a, as a squad and uh, touch base with each and every one in the squad. Those who haven't played part in the World Cup to just see, reassess where we are as a squad. I think also to sit down and set, uh, revisit our goals for the upcoming year and uh, the tours that we are preparing for. In the same breath, we also need to make sure that the girls are staying fit and the skills are sharper and then they need to be where they need to be. Yeah, the mood's really good. The girls are very excited to get out here. Um, obviously, we had a long year last year, so it was nice to you know, get some time at home during December and then get going now. The girls are really excited. You can see a lot of them are doing more extras, so nice to see that they're back and starting 2019 fresh. For us, it's uh, very important to keep seeing new faces coming in, youngsters coming into the squad. And uh, with the youngsters that we had at Academy and uh, the national players to, to also be in the same squad because overall we have a squad of 26 players and we're still on our journey to the 2021 World Cup so we, we realize it's going to be some coming in, some going and at the end of the day it's, uh, it's about performance and making sure the team gets better and uh, from everything that we learned in 2018 now it's for us to make sure that we put everything in place and players that are, are new and have been roped in and they're starting to realize what is it that is required for them to be able to stay at this level and perform. So far, the camp has been very good. There a lot of discussions being held behind closed doors for us as the Protea women to prepare for 2019. Oh, it's really good. Um, you can see they're, they're blending in really good. They're gelling a lot of the girls um, and we're having a lot of cricket conversations, which is really good. And obviously, we had a few youngsters coming to um, the World Cup with us as well. So to be able to see that and, and see the big stage is really good. They're taking a lot from that. But it's nice to have these girls coming to camp so they know what to expect, especially um, if someone does get injured and they have to come in for them. Um, they kind of know what's expected of them. So, you know, the the plans are going, having a lot of bang discussions, boring discussions, but um, so far, so good. I'm excited to be back, to be honest. So I'm very happy to be here and I'm glad that the school is over and done now. <laughs> so it's a new year, new things ahead of me. So I'm very excited about this year and hopefully everything turns out the way I want it to. It was very much fun to get back in it again, uh, hit a few balls and to get to see the girls again. So for me, although it's hot, it's still fun. I always enjoy playing cricket, so it's good to be back. For me it's good. I feel it's proper coaching that I get obviously to improve my game. So for me it's a good starting point for the year to improve my, my skills as a, as, a, as a batsman and obviously as a bowler as well. So I think for me it's good to be back in a national setup to get the best coaching that I possibly can to improve myself as a, as a cricketer. From 2020, it's three World Cups after that. So we see this year as a year to prepare for the next three years. So we need to make sure that uh, each and every player gets enough game time. I think the main focus also for the team was this year will be keep working on the T20 skills, which we know that we're not as good as we want to be. We're not performing as a team as we would like to be. So performances, yes, individually, when the provinces, when they're playing teams around the world, you can see the performance out there. It's for us to make sure that we find that that actually gets everything together so we can perform when we're playing for the Green and Goat as a, as a team. And for us is to monitor and to make sure that we can strengthen and also sharpen up on our fitness as a team going for into 2020 and uh, we know that as the, as the year builds up, as the tour comes closer and with the academy opportunities that we have again for camps, there's going to be a lot of contact time with the players this year. And preparation for us, we feel that the way we started now, we're very happy. The mood in the camp is much better now. You can see players are eager, youngsters always bring fresh air. The energy that they bring and the eagerness that they want to play. I think at the end of the day, you have enough experience again, like I said, that uh, can, these youngsters can wrap shoulders off and be able to prepare.